Be sure to enter by Rollercoaster Tycho 3 Top Tycho 2015 competition. Link is in the description. Hey, let's part the show, here, and welcome back to Let's Build the Ospo Park 2015. And as the title of this episode clearly suggests, finally, we're actually doing some proper Duenna stuff in this episode, which you'll see later on. So, to start off with, I decided to replace that ta tower base we deleted last episode, i.e. yesterday. So, this is where I'm finally going to show you what I've been guessing at in my head for, like, the last three months, okay? Because, trust me, this is why I wanted to do this idea. So right here, you may be thinking, what the hell is he doing with the colour scheme on that roof? Well, obviously for those of you who play Skyrim, you'll know exactly what I'm, what I'm guessing at. As for those of you who don't, well, Duomo roofs usually have quite a kind of golden-ish colour scheme on the roofs. But right here, obviously, I decided that tower obviously wasn't tall enough. Which actually did pay dividends later on. So that was all good. So then I decided to raise it up a bit. And then you got replacing the roofs. Uh, the roofs here I'm using, by the way, are from Station Gym's Chapel set. I think it's the second one. And there's a good reason for that. Frankly, we're going to be getting sets from all over the place in this series. Because, I mean, as I said in the last episode, no one's done Dwemer. So, I must say, having just built this, literally, I finished, I finished actually recording this time lapse about five minutes ago. And I must say, I really like the results. So right here, let's do the concrete posts and decided, hang a minute, it's Dwemer. They obviously have to be in gold. So I was placing these just thinking, yes, now we're going somewhere. And yes, I was playing a butt ton of Skyrim yesterday in, and gallivanting around Dwemer Ruins. Like, I'm pretty certain that like 90% of the stuff I, that's in Dwemer Ruins, I won't be able to create on this. And now here's another key feature of Dwemer Ruins, pipes. If in doubt, spam the crap out of pipes. So you may notice the times I'm just browsing through my scene. That's just because I'm trying to kind of get to grips with what I've downloaded. Because honestly, half the stuff I haven't even had a look at yet. I mean, I got some Flintstones. I still haven't looked at Weber's Stone Creations yet. So right here, I thought, yeah, hey, let's just throw in some windows just because we're doing Medieval Dwemer anyway. So those are in. Then I went back. There, so I thought that sh uh, the Pillars from Zero G set, made by uh, Station Team Jr. of all people. Don't ask. I thought those would look quite good. I was like, yeah, this is looking good. Then at that point, just like zoom out there, I was trying to figure out like how this was scaling up to the rest of the park, because I've been kind of playing out the size of my head for a while. So then I decided to just spam the crap out of pipes for a bit. I was just thinking, alright, pipe time. And for those of you play and season scaring players and think hopefully you're thinking this is looking quite too If you if those of you like no Skyrim well, have any tips on how I could recreate to my architecture, then I welcome your thoughts. So, I was just thinking, this is looking good. But I thought that sounds like a bit better, so I decided to see if I could pull off the idea I had in my head, which is link it, bring a bridge between this tower and the sides of the canyon, which you'll see me get at in a minute. So I was doing the roof along the top of the tower, and thinking, yeah, this looks good. So, then I was going to, I decided to do some battlements along the top, just because it's medieval and Dwemer. So this one, I was just thinking, oh my god, this looks amazing. So, I'm pro chances are I'm probably going to come back to this and spam the crap out of more pipes. Just because, it's Dwemer, you cannot have enough pipes in Dwemer Ruins. So I thought I'd have some pipes coming out of the ground, as well as coming, as well as coming out of the tower. I'll probably have them going all over the place. And uh, Robert Donnie, this is where I wish Silver would release his steampunk set, because that's got some pretty nice, nice pipes in there that would go well with this. Although, in my experience, Jammer Ruins usually have kind of thicker pipes. So, okay, next episode, we'll probably. Chances are we're going to get some serious terraforming, because, like, I'm really going to start showing off the layout of this thing, because it's going to be bloody mental, okay? Like,. I seriously don't know how this is going to work. For the record, the music I was just playing, uh, one of my favourite tracks for, in general line rowing, Nitro Fun by New Game. Sorry, New Game by Nitro Fun. And if any of you have got good ears, then obviously you'll be able to hear this in the background, because I can through my ha headset. And you'll know what's playing in the background. So for those of you who don't, well, it's one of the ultimate tracks I've ever heard. Invaders Must Die by The Prodigy. Yeah, I decided to just go electronic theme for this episode. 
So here I was just extended the paths. Uh, I eventually just wrapped up the start of the entrance square. Unfortunately, there was a web of aid thing I wanted to throw in there because I thought it was kind of reminiscent of like. I don't know what that thing is in the ruins of Bafalth, if someone could tell me. Because it, it's kind of like a, web, a sundial thing, but also different. It's really weird, but like, it's the entrance to the Ethereal Forge. So, yes. And then here I decided to actually start working with the rocks and see what I could do in terms of like actually getting them to line up. So I was trying not to cover too much of the paths. Of course, later on I did wind up repositioning them. So I got, so I placed those and I decided to go back to Ralphie's bridge set and extended the bridge. And, I, and then I just thought, oh my god. So I was thinking, yes, yes. Because frankly, I was just getting bl overwhelmed by the pipes and everything just working. So I went back into uh, Medi Ravens Medieval Set 2 and continue extend and just extended the bridges. So uh, obviously I appreciate your feedback. I know like uh, my last the last episode kind of took off. So uh, I appreciate your feedback on this on this and what I'm doing at the moment. Then naturally I decided to, I wanted to replace the this these this one again. Kind of move them back a bit. So I was like, yeah, this is looking good. Because this was exactly what I had in my head. And obviously a lot of Dwemer Ruins are in the mountains. So then I wasn't really sure what to do next. So I was trying to find out whether that sundial, because I thought it was in Ralphie's medieval set. I'm pretty sure it is not. So I really need to see what try and uh, figure out what set it's in. Because no silver used that thing in uh, his recently finished theme park. Which reminds me, I still need to watch the up new episode of his one. So, right here, I wasn't really sure what to do, and thought, and just, I was looking through all my video sets, set, seeing if I could find something to stick in the because I want to put that sub dial in there. Then I was like, nah, screw it, let's just carry on, let's just build what we can and hunt for CS off screen. So, I, so I, I was slightly wondering whether or not this would be a bit too repetitive, but. Seeing as it's the exact same size and shape as size as the tower, but I'm not too bothered. Now, in hindsight, but right here I was just trying to uh, to get like a circular pathing. I was thinking fountain, but then again, fountains are a bit cliched, and I kind of did that in the last free park on the centre of the bridge, the entrance bridge. So right here I was looking at this and thinking how I could do like paths around the work around the square thing. So here, so I was just play so right here. I got going and placing parts again from uh, Ravi's Medieval Set Two. Seriously, that texture is amazing. Although I'm probably get once I get into the terraform, into the parts a bit more terraform. Oops, spoilers. Uh, I'm probably gonna switch using uh, Shig's recolorable path covers or something like that. I can't remember if they're by Shig Seven One Three or something like that, but they're really nice path covers. And I really think they'll go well with this. They're kind of an old rustic uh, stony theme, which. Should work with the medieval theming and also kind of the rustics should hopefully reflect the Dwemer. So right here I was just I was placing the part. I was then immediately decided that the diagonals nearest the tower were a bit too wide. So I redid those. And I was thinking, yeah, this looks good. I may widen the hot the, the side that's far, the far side from the tower. So then I decided to wrap up with some terra painting. I mean, I did go browsing through my stuff afterwards to try to find something to do, but frankly, I mean, all the stuff still there is gigantic rock work, which I may do next episode, or I might not. I get, I'll think about it. Problem is, I don't want to try and use the same rocks over and over again. Because otherwise it's going to end up looking really repetitive and boring. Because, I mean, but the problem is there aren't really that many colossal rock sets with good tech out there, like, in general. I mean, if someone could do, like, a super-sized version of Weber's foliage rock set and that'd be great. But anyway, I'm going to sign off. So, I'm Shadow 2000. Uh, you're watching RCT for Let's Put the Osmo Theme by 2015 and this is YouTube.com forward slash Marshall Murderers. See you all in the next episode.